Did you know that scarlet runner beans are awesome for hummingbirds? They're also awesome in your chili. We grew lots of the scarlet runner beans this year, which means we've got lots left over now for next year for planting all new crop. And we were able to can up a whole bunch as well that we're gonna be using in our chilies. Let me show you how this whole process went down. Oh no. Hey guys, we got an awesome harvest of Scarlet Runner beans this year. So we're gonna get this all canned up and ready to go for chilies. So our beans soaked for 24 hours. They're all nice and fluffy and big and filled with lots of goodness. We've already got our first batch in the Instapot Max canner. And I wanna say this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, the Instapot Max is not a government approved method of canning. And even canning Scarlet Runner beans, there's not a recipe for them. There is recipes for doing beans, so dried beans, you basically, again, soak them and then you can them. So we've still got uh, a liter of Scarlet Runner beans that these ones are gonna be kept aside for seeds. This entire batch here, as well as the ones inside the pot, are gonna be canned. So we'll use those for probably mostly chilies. And yes, we do put beans in our chilies up here. And I've heard these ones are extremely good. They're nice and meaty and chunky. So I'll add a whole bunch of good flavor, texture, and substance to our chili as well. So we'll go ahead and get four more ready to go. So they'll be good to go when this batch is done. We've got four jars in there. They are the half liter, the 500 milliliter, the nice thing with doing big stuff like this is it's easy to adjust the head space. You don't have to go in there with a spoon and fiddle around with it. Figure we'll probably have to do three batches. So it'll be, what, four, eight, 12, six liters of uh, beans. I think anyway, it's what it looks like. Now get this filled up with some nice fresh clean water. We don't want to use the stuff that was soaking in. We want to use new. Now one of the nice things I like about canning beans like this or anything big is you can actually just spin the jar, shake it a little, and that'll shift everything and get a lot of those bubbles out. You can still stick your knife down in, move stuff around. And these ones still look pretty good. Awesome. Now with these two, I'm not too worried about the rims since we're using wet beans and water. Not like when you're canning jam or something like that where you're gonna get gooey's stuck on the rim. I'm not too worried about that at all, so. Just get those cleaned off. Get our lids put on. And as soon as this batch is done, we'll be able to pull them out. We'll pull the pot out. We'll cool it down with some uh, cold water. And then we'll fill it up a bit with some cold water and be able to start the whole process again. All right, so the first batch is almost done. We just have to wait for this red light to go off. That will unlock the lid, allow us to take the lid off and remove the jars. So right now it's just cooling down a bit, getting back to a regular temperature, but the lid won't unlock until it uh, cools down a bit more. All right, so here we go. The red light's gone off. We are good to go. Oh no, that's not cool. Son of a... Uh... So that's my second jar that's broken this year. We've done close to, I wanna say close to 300 jars 
and that's the second one that's broke this year. One in this, and then one in the uh, the big, my big Presto canner that was on the stove, and it was uh, the big one liter jar of corn. Not cool, I don't like that at all. It's uh, not fun when you have to deal with this. So we'll have to toss this all in the garbage. I'm not, uh, there's no way I'm gonna try and save any of this because last time we looked too at the corn when one broke, there is uh, tiny shards of glass. And so I just don't wanna chance it at all. We'll just get rid of this. And uh, unfortunately it ha happens sometimes. Not, uh, not fun though. These things happen unfortunately. So we'll just uh, keep going with the next batch. All right, the moment of truth. Second batch done. No problems at all that time. So there we go, last two jars going in the canner now. I thought we were gonna have four on this one. It's gonna give us four, four and a half liters. Uh, we lost the one, so we would have had five total liters of beans going in, but uh, I miscalculated on that. There we go, last batch on the way. So there we are guys, nine jars of 500 mil of Scarlet Runner beans. And then again, still got our seeds there. So that's a pretty good haul for something we just planted to really attract the um, hummingbirds. Because the hummingbirds love the flowers on these. But now that uh, we've been able to produce this many beans, we're definitely gonna do it again next year and even try and expand this even more, possibly to the point where we won't have to buy red kidney beans for our chili. We'll just do all Scarlet Runner beans. Anyway guys, if you like this video, get down here and check this one out. You might like it too.